Hey everyone, here are my last minute exam tips for looking at algebra and equations, tips and tricks, and common mistakes. Let's get into it. Here's the most fundamental thing when we're looking at solving any kind of equation. Always think about opposite operations. It doesn't matter whether you're looking at a simple equation or a more complex one. Opposite operations are going to be key to solving um, your equation and finding a variable. Have a look at some of these examples here. Pause the video and think, how can I actually approach some of these? Can I solve most of these? When we're looking at these, we always want to think about how to get the variable by itself. So we always want to be thinking, about how do I rebalance my equation using my opposite operations so that I can solve it? If you've got some number that's by itself and it's a positive number, you want to subtract it from both sides. If you've got a fraction, you know that means division. So you want to multiply both sides by what's on the denominator. Now, these are just some key things to think about when we're solving some basic forms of equations and really helpful for when we're solving more complex ones too. Now when we're looking at equations, there's a whole heap of ways to get to the right answer for the value of your unknown variable. But choosing the way that you get there is going to affect the difficulty of solving that question. Like when you're traveling to school, for example, you can catch a bus, you can get a lift from someone, or you can walk it, right? And each of those has varying levels of difficulty. For example, have a look at this question here. I've got 5 outside of x minus 4 equals to 20. Remember, the goal is to always think about how do I get that variable by itself? And thinking about opposite operations is going to be really key here. One example involves expanding that bracket out and then rearranging your equation so you can solve for the x. Can you think of another way to do it, though? Another way would be to, rather than expand it out, well, I know that those brackets, they're talking about a multiplication operation. Right, so I'm using times there. Instead, if I divide both sides by 5 there, that's actually going to make the expression a lot easier to solve, and it's going to be a lot quicker. So really, it's going to come down to you at the end of the day which methods you're more comfortable with, um, and that's really going to come through practicing more problems uh, and seeing which ways work for you better. What about some common mistakes? Um, it's really important to know what to do uh, when we're approaching a question. One helpful thing can be also to think about what not to do. Here's the first common mistake. When multiplying to remove fractions, students forget to multiply all the terms. What do I mean by that? Here's an example. If I've got x divided by 3 plus 3 equals to 7, the goal is that I want to get x by itself. In general, we want to try and remove fractions from our expressions so that we can actually solve them. Right? One common thing here is that students will see that fraction. They'll say, OK, the opposite of division is multiplication. So let's multiply it, both sides by 3. But when doing that, they'll forget that they have to, have to multiply every single term on each side of the expression by that value, right, by 3. This can be solved in a few ways. Just remembering that when you're multiplying both sides by 3, that applies to every single term. Or if you gather all the like terms first, you're less likely to make that error and get the correct value for x. Speaking of expanding, when we're looking at expanding, uh, we know that that means multiplication. But students, again, forget to multiply everything on the inside by the outside. And that includes when we're looking at variables. For example, this question here. I've got 5a multiplied by a plus 3. So I'm doing 5a times a. I need to remember that's actually 5a squared. And then also remembering that 5a times 3, well, that's just going to be 15a. And uh, being, being careful of any signs there, that could also affect uh, the final expression that you're going to get. And sometimes with algebra, the struggle is that once you start to finally grasp um, what to do with certain equations or um, methods that we need to use in order to get that value for the uh, unknown variable, whatever it may be, uh, then we get thrown in the deep end with some of these crazy questions, maybe something like this that was from the uh, HSC general paper this year in 2018. Um, what do I do when I see something like this, right? Always go back to those more simple examples. We know those opposite operations. We want to be careful of those terms. And then just use all of those and apply them um, step by step, breaking it down. If you want to see how I solve this question, click the video up there. Uh, but those are some tips and tricks and common mistakes that students always make in algebra and equations. Hope they helped.